folks. This is Ada. Today I want to talk to you about the distance metrics available in the DeepFace library for Python. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. DeepFace wraps many convolutional neural networks based face recognition models, and they represent facial images as multi dimensional vectors. Then, DeepFace finds the similarity between vector embeddings of a face pair. Finally, that pair is verified as same person if the distance is less than a fine tuned threshold value. Specifically, the cosine distance, Euclidean distance, and L2 form are commonly used in machine learning for measuring the distance or similarity between two vectors. First, let's talk about cosine distance. This metric measures the angular distance between two vectors. It's often used for similarity searches, such as finding similar images in a database. The output of cosine distance ranges from 0 to 1 with zero indicating identical vectors and one indicating completely different vectors. Next, let's talk about Euclidean distance. This metric measures the straight line distance between two points in a space. It's often used for clustering, such as grouping similar data points together. The output of Euclidean distance is a non-negative number with smaller values indicating that the two points are closer together and larger values indicating that they're further apart. Finally, let's talk about L2 form. This metric is a variation of Euclidean distance that's commonly used in machine learning. It measures the square root of the sum of the squared differences between corresponding elements in two vectors. Like Euclidean distance, the output of L2 form is a non-negative number, with smaller values indicating that the two vectors are closer together and larger values indicating that they're further apart. So, how do these metrics compare to each other? Cosine distance is often used when the angle between vectors is important, such as in image recognition tasks. Euclidean distance and L2 form are better suited for tasks where the actual distance between two points is important, such as clustering or anomaly detection. In terms of computation time, cosine distance is generally faster to compute than Euclidean distance and L2 form, which can be computationally expensive for high-dimensional data. In conclusion, the DeepFace library for Python offers several distance metrics that can be used to measure the similarity or distance between two vectors or points. These include cosine distance, Euclidean distance, and L2 form, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. By understanding these metrics and their applications, we can improve the accuracy of our machine learning models. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.